Hey family, what's going on? This is Jerome. I've uh, been really excited. I've been trying to work on getting this idea to you guys is probably for the past three months. And so now finally making time to do it. So my idea, I thought to myself, um, I've been reading about families that have created wealth over generations. And, uh, you know, from the Rockefellers to the DeWitts, there are a lot of families that have use their finances or their money over time to create wealth and um one of the things that i feel uh you know you probably as a people um we don't talk about much is money and how to use our money and build money together um you know there's a long-standing premise that people believe hey you don't do business with family or friends because it'll ruin a, a, a friendship well, I have a idea that I'd like to present to you, and it's about building a legacy. Um, and it, it, it really has zero risk, and it has literally zero interaction, if you will, with our money. So what I would like to do <clears throat> is to take our family, uh, the Robinsons, uh, but this you can fill in your family's um, name here, and... Every person, adult member, or whoever is of age enough to want to participate with this, put $10 away a month. Now, when you put $10 away a month, it won't just go to a, um, it won't just go to a uh, savings account. It'll actually go to, uh, it'll start being invested. So, um, right now, I'm using an app. I don't know if you can see it called acorns so i'm using an app called acorns i started the past <clears throat> about a month ago and um you directly link it to your bank account and they take your money and they invest it um moderately very safely or if you want medium aggression or totally aggressive they take your money and they they basically invest it so <clears throat> when you have your money invested you're allow you're allowing your your money to to take part in compound interest. So um, what basically could be done with this money that we put away for ten dollars a month, basically the price that you spend on Netflix every month, ten dollars, you could be setting something up to build a legacy, to build a foundation for your for your family name. Most colleges are set up on endowments. So you have USC, you have Syracuse, you have a lot of different schools that are founded on being funded by an endowment. So let's say their endowment is $50 million. Well, they pretty much run the school on the the, the interest that's made every year uh, um, from the endowment, the, the slump sum of money. And as people continue to donate to, their, to the school, they have the endowment grows over the years. Um, some schools have larger endowments than others. <clears throat> But I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if we could take $10 a month, it stays in your own account, so I don't have access to your $10, you don't have access to my $10, but after a certain amount of time, of course, maybe after two or three years of those who stay committed to it, we can combine our money and do something special with it um, to create a foundation or a legacy for a family name. Now, when we talk about money we spend every week, every every month, um, I, I connect it to a... Uh, Another app I have on my phone called Mint. Um, and so Mint kind of tracks uh, what you spend uh, what you spend on a monthly basis. Like, for instance, if you're doing, you know, how much you spend on gas, how much you spend on fast food. Some people have can get that information, like, from their whatever bank they're with. They can kind of go online and they can kind of tell you what you spent. But at the same time, it's, it's really cool to be able to look at how much money you spend that's not accounted for going out to eat, restaurants, entertainment. So I'm thinking $10 a month is next to nothing. I mean, how many times do we, do we blow the money? So my proposal is that we all take $10 and a, a month, just $10. You can have it automatically set up $10 and put it into um, uh, the Acorns app. Um, and there are a lot of different micromanaging um, apps where they can invest your money, but it's $10. You can access your money anytime you want to if you, for some reason, need that $10. Um, but you could get your money. 
But what we can do with the money <clears throat> is more than just, um, which would be good. I mean, it would be good to just have the money to say, hey, we're going to, um, you know, set aside for the next uh, family reunion. But what it really would be great is to create a foundation where we can have people come to the table years later and say, this money was set aside $10 every month. And now we have a, found, a Robinson family uh, foundation or, or if, you know, it's. If it's in the case of it's the G family um, foundation or the Taylor family foundation, but you can take that money and as it grows over time, it's just a part of what we do. The same way we don't question the fact that we have a cell phone bill every month, like that's just what we do. We pay our cell phone bill. That's just what we do. We put $10 aside every month for our family foundation. And I mean, if, if our family, if, if we're not worth investing $10 a month, you know, I think that's a clear sign that we need to kind of look at ways in which we can use our money. So, um, I went on to bankrate.com and I got an investment calculator. So most investors, um, first of all, most, most of us, and I'm starting with myself, I've always been kind of, um, hesitant to, you know, deal with stocks and things like that because you hear about people losing money and it's kind of iffy. Um, but what I didn't educate myself on is that since the beginning of the stock market in no 10 year span, including the depression or the fall, the, 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 the crash of 2008, has the stock market ever lost money in no 10 year span. As a matter of fact, every 10 years, your money doubles in the stock market. And that's with a, a seven to 10 year average. And they, you know, which seven, seven percent, eight percent is, is pretty much almost guaranteed in the stock market if you have a diversified mutual fund. But these apps, that the apps that I mentioned, Acorn, they, they kind of, they do the, the guesswork and they kind of, they take the guesswork away from you. And so that they actually invest your money based on what you just say your needs are. So if you want to be aggressive, if you need your money to be more stable, they kind of just do it for you and they tell you the companies that you're investing in. So for the millennials or just the people that, you know, going on, going to, Ameritrade and picking your stocks and all that stuff is just it's, it's too much for them to do like myself um, These micro uh, investing apps are awesome and they could they could you know do a lot of uh, They could you know you could have success with it The only um, thing about these apps is it's not a tax write-off Ta It's not tax sheltered I should say so for instance a lot of people have uh, 403 uh, B's connected to their job and 401ks and so that's actually a tax sheltered amount people get involved with Roth IRAs and so um, you know you you kind of can get help in certain things but this is the money that we blow all the time and it's just saying invest in it so I went on bankrate.com and I did some projections and I, I encourage you to do this on your own so you know I'm not talking crazy but um, and this is based on 10 people just 10 people in the family um, doing ten dollars a month, um, investing it in one of these, um, putting your money um, instead of the bank, ten dollars in the bank, putting it into one of these micro investing apps. So, um, if ten people, uh, this is for ten people over five years, they did uh, ten dollars a month. It would be seven thousand eight hundred seventeen dollars. That's a lot of money. Seventeen seven thousand over five years. It's seven thousand dollars five years just for putting ten dollars a month. Well, if they continued it for 10 years, it would be $20,000, $20,000. So think about the fact that you're, it's money you probably, I know for sure, I, I probably just frivolously spend $250 to $300 a month just on going out, just not being disciplined sometimes. This $10 um, between 10 people in 20 years can turn into $20,000. Now, the other piece that I want to mention is that we always, we're not always going to see our legacy in our lifetime. So you might say 20 years, okay, uh, in 20 years, where am I going to be? What am I going to be doing? Well, the key thing is that we make it a family thing. If this is what we do. The same way we pay our taxes, the same way we pay our light bill every month, the same way we make sure we have gas in our car is we make sure we spend $10 every month and invest in our in our Robinson legacy or whatever put your family name legacy in there now also you got to understand that this is just your money in the app so that the money is not um, together so I don't have access to my uncles or my brothers 
it's just a, a commitment to say, hey, this is what we're going to do. We're doing this together, you know, and it kind of could bring you together as a family to say, hey, how are you doing on your 10 bucks a month? Oh, you missed last month, put in 20. But after 40 years, excuse me, after 15 years, you'd have $40,000 with just 10 people in your family putting $10 a month. That $40,000 is, is beginning to build momentum. This is where compound interest is amazing. Um, Albert Einstein said that one thing he never could understand was the magic of compound interest. Um, after 20 years, you would have $72,000 if 10 people in your family did $10 a month. After 30 years, you'd have $208,000. After 50 years, you'd have one, almost, nearly $1.5 million. And after 70 years, you'd have $9 million. After 100 years, you'd have $174 million. So my point is this. $10 a month. What if we could turn this into a legacy thing? Now, <laughs> I'm 40 years old now, so I don't anticipate being able to be around 100 years from now. But what a great legacy to give to my daughter and my relatives to say, we put $10 every month in you know, of course, over time, we would eventually join our money together where we, we actually could trust each other and say, I'll put $10 into this investment account. But just think about what you're doing. What if the people, you know, 100 years ago didn't make the sacrifices for me and you to learn to get to vote, to go to school, to to just be a citizen, you know, and they did it for us. And I'm thinking, I think the final frontier is going to be our financial Right. You know, making sure that we take care of our finances. So I'd, uh, you know, I'd like to get some feedback. I put a lot of thought into this. It won't be for everyone. And that's OK. But I but, but I've talked to Trey a lot about this uh, cousin Trey. Um, and I know he's on board and, you know, I'm sure some other people are going to be right on board without any questions asked. But if it's not for you, it's all good. And if you have questions, I'll try to answer them all, all I can. But. It's, it, there's no gimmick to this. We're just taking our time and we're trying to build a legacy um, for our family foundation so that can you imagine in 70 years um, when, you know, our money is worth $9 million, you know, we'll have to have people in our family sit on a board, a foundation and say, this is what we're going to do with the interest from the $9 million. So you never touch the principal amount. It just continues to grow every every over time, it could, but you all, but you can do a lot of great things with um, the interest made. So if you have nine million dollars and you have ten percent interest, you're looking at about nine hundred thousand dollars that you could influence. And if you have that much money, trust me, you that's going to include a lot of power that you can have and uh, helping everybody. So I didn't want to take too much time, but it's something I want I wanted to share with you guys as far as um, trying in 2017 to use our money. Um, you know, group economics to use what we have. Ten dollars. I think everybody has. I know everyone has ten dollars. You know, if we can go, go to McDonald's and stop at Subway and stop at Starbucks and get that pair of Jordans, and we can go, we can afford ten dollars a month. And um, you know, you're doing this to build something for your foundation. And how many times do we spend money and we really, we really never have a, a long-term benefit cost for it? You know, like. The Starbucks you buy is not going to affect the world um, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. So anyway, get back at me. Um, thanks for uh, listening. And, uh, you know, you can call me, text me, or hit me on Facebook if you have any questions. But the app is Acorns. And, uh, you know, this is the legacy building uh, investment opportunity. Thanks.